everybody, it's me, Alexa. Welcome back to another reaction. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Brahmasta The Vision video. Now, really quick before we jump in, I'm going to do a sponsorship ad because I have a giveaway, guys. That is right, a giveaway going on over on my Instagram. You can go check it out. Super easy to enter. I'll have a link down below to the Instagram post. All you got to do is follow me and the coldest, like the post, Tag to your friends and you are entered to win a $10 e-gift card. So make sure to go check that out and enter. So thank you so much to The Coldest Water for not only sponsoring this video, but also giving me the opportunity to give away five $10 gift cards to y'all. Now let's talk more about this video. So I saw this video came out in a couple languages. I'm gonna be checking out the English one, since that's the language I speak. <laughs> and um, I figured that that would make the most sense for me. This film has a large cast of amazingly talented people. We have Ranbir Kapoor, Aliyah Bhatt, Amitabh Bachchan, Naga Jurna's in it. I mean, there's a whole bunch of names and I'm really looking forward to it. We already took a look at the trailer from it and I really enjoyed that. And I'm looking forward to seeing a bit more about the movie. It is coming out this September. So closer than we think, but you know, we still got a, over a month away, so there's still time. But I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. This is definitely one I'm gonna be trying to catch in theaters. It's also cool that this is a part one of three. So I'm interested to see, of course, this is going to be Shiva's story, and then we're gonna have two more, and I'm guessing it's gonna probably be other people's stories, maybe. Um, so I'll be intrigued to see how that plays out, how they like all intermingle together, and just how the story works overall. Like what is going to be the overarching story that we get across these three films. But for today, let's just check out this video. Ooh. Welcome to a never before, never seen before world of ancient Indian astros. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, no. Nandi Astro. Okay. Oh, so this is kind of telling us. Astro. Okay. Prapastra. Jalastro. Pavanastro. Is that a kid? And. Brahmastro. Mmm. I just understood that that's Brahma Astra, and I'm feeling the dumb. Foundation of a universe of cinema based on the concept of astras, the astraverse. The astraverse, that's a cool name. Ooh, nice little logo for Brahmastra it. Brahmastra part one is the first movie of this astraverse, and it begins with an image from a mystical time in ancient India, where a group of sages are performing deep meditation in the Himalayas. And for their meditation, the sages are blessed with the light mm. of the universe. The most powerful and most pure energy there is. I love this Brahma artwork. Shakti. From this Brahma Shakti. It's beautiful. It looks Astros like a graphic novel almost. Astras which have within them all the different energies that are found in nature. Fire, wind, water, earth. The Jalastra, Pavanastra, and the Agniastra. Astras which have within them the powers of different animals, like the Vanarastra, which can give to the person who controls it the power of a super monkey. Mm. And the Nandiastra, which has Possible. within it the power and strength of a thousand bulls. Mm. But there is one- oh, I saw there's a tiger and bird in The last one to emerge from the light carrying its collective essence, the Lord of all the others, which the sages name after one of the most powerful weapons of our gods, the Brahmastra. Mm. Okay. The sages vow to protect these astras, and as the guardians of the Brahmastra, they name themselves the Brahmanj. Mm. A secret society which will exist amongst other men, and do good for the world with the power of these astras. It's very cool. Time moves forward, humanity progresses, and the Brahmanj carries on as well, passing on the astras generation to generation, all the way to the transition from world art today, to where photos. The Brahmanj still exist in secret. Mm. India as it is today is where the story of Brahmastra is set. I believe this puts us in a very unique position because no one has done what we are doing with ancient Indian inspiration this in the modern cool. world ever. And now on to the hero of Brahmastra, our protagonist, 
a young man who is yet to discover that in this world of astras he is a miracle because he is an astra himself agni astra mm okay so agni is fire very cool. in keeping with our spirit of tribute to our roots he is named after the god who is the most dear to me personally the most mystical the all powerful and my greatest inspiration shiva mm. The CGI is so good of everything we've seen so far. I'm very impressed. The VFX. Oh, is it done already? It's been four minutes? So that was so cool. So that was everything I wanted to know from the trailer before jumping into the movie. I'm so happy that video came out um, to kind of explain, because remember I talked about in the trailer reaction, um, you know, what's the bull represent? What do the, the monkey represent? And so it's so cool to see this um story one thing that's interesting about just the core concept of these group of people and of course this is different there are differences between them but something that it made me think of while watching this was uh the eternals movie now of course i'm really hoping this one will be better <laughs> um but is that concept of like this ancient magic and then you know starting back in the old time and coming to modern day um with this like ancient power but of course this is very different especially because it's rooted in uh indian mythology and that i love i love mythology so much i think it's very cool it's not something i spend enough time looking at anymore but like i was always into it as a kid and i think it's just the coolest thing mainly as a kid i read like greek and roman mythology stuff and um as i've gotten older i've learned more about indian mythology and other mythologies in the world and it's genuinely so fascinating and so cool and i love the stories that are held um, with the gods in the Hindu religion, especially. There's so many beautiful legends and tales uh, and surrounding them that they can draw from. And I love how in this film, they are taking these gods and um, these mythologies and turning it into something in the modern world. It is, as he said, like this is not something that's been done before. This is an extremely new thing. And it's utilizing stuff that is, you know, been used in many things before. You know, the gods are utilized as symbolism or just in film all the time in Indian cinema. But to take it like this and kind of adapt it into something new, I think is very brave and very exciting. I'm genuinely really looking forward to how this plays out because, you know, this could be, like, as you said, it's like the Astroverse, and right now it's a trilogy, but there is so much they could do with this concept. Like, it could become its own cinematic universe. And the idea of that is so exciting. Like, we can have stories from the past, we can have stories from the future. Like, there's so much that can be done with this. And I think that it's really great. Now, I just, I just have my fingers crossed that this first movie is as good as I want it to be. <laughs> um, because I want there to be more, and I want it to grow into this bigger thing and hopefully it'll be really great and it'll be easy to get that all made you know of course you know i'm pretty sure the trilogy at the very least will get made because they've already sold it as a trilogy you know they might even already have some of the next part done i don't know i haven't researched that at all that was such a cool video there's so much said in it i'm like trying to wrap my head around all of it um so it's gonna be cool to learn all of the different astros because I mean, he listed quite a few in this but i don't know if that's every single one or if there's gonna be a few more as well um because of course so Rambir kapoor's character our main character he is going to be the fire astra um and so that makes sense with the trail of course you know he had fire obviously we knew he was gonna have fire powers um and it's cool to get the actual like name for it and i also feel really dumb for not putting together brahma astra is literally the name i don't know why that didn't click until watching this video like it's so obvious to me now <laughs> but whatever we move on i do also think that's a very smart name for the series um because of course the brahma astra is kind of like the core um power of it all and it'll be interesting to see like who has that power or if that one is like not held by a human because maybe it's too powerful or by an aster rather they're not like necessarily human fully um and because they are like a miracle as he worded it in the video it was also cool to hear it all in english i want would be interested to know if like there's a bit different things said in the different languages um because i don't know how, if like he just re-recorded that a bunch in the other like we also just sat and recorded it all in hindi and then said it all in english or what um but 
it was a really cool and very informative video. It, it was exactly what I wanted to know. And I love all that key art we saw as well. The art style of it was just beautiful. Um, and I'm interested to see how the beginning will be, because I think based on that key art, you know, we see of the, whenever the people were meditating originally, I'm thinking that might be an animation in the full film. I could see that being utilized, or maybe it'll be a bunch of actors and they'll be there. Um, we won't know till we see it. <laughs> I could see that being a good opportunity to utilize the animation exposition, which I've seen in some other films as well, uh, and I'd be interested to see how it looks. I don't mind an animated exposition, I just want it to have a good style to it. And um, based on the concept art though, I really love these concept arts, um, just the whole like how it's drawn and how it's done, it was just absolutely beautiful. I mean, I'm just looking forward to this movie now. <laughs> When's September 9th coming? And can it come any sooner? But I think this could be a huge film. I think this really could be like the next big thing. I'm really looking forward to it and seeing how successful it is. And I really, really have my fingers crossed that it is just amazing because I want it to be. There's definitely a wide variety of characters in this and I mean I don't again I don't know if this is all the Astros they listed a few in this I have a feeling there's probably gonna be a couple more than what they listed in uh, this video and I'll be interested to have all of those revealed and also make sure I can keep track of them all. <laughs> I also think this is a really cool way to kind of um, get people who are not from India to understand a little bit more about um, Hindu mythology. I think that this is a really cool way to be like an introduction, like it almost, of course it's very different from this, but like a reminiscent of like the Percy Jackson books for kids um, to learn about Greek mythology. While this appears to be very different from those novels, I think the core thing of what I'm trying to say it'll offer the similarly is allowing people to learn about Hindu mythology a bit about it. Obviously it's a very modern take and there's a lot of, you know, there's gonna be a lot of fiction mixed in there and like the story itself is going to be its own thing, but it'll have inspiration um, from the mythology and from the gods and it'll be a really cool way to show people a bit more about that who otherwise don't know a lot about the Hindu mythology and I'm really looking forward to that. Hopefully this can be kind of a big success. I know RRR got a lot of people interested in Indian cinema, which was so much fun to see. I, every time I saw like a new person who normally watches Hollywood movies, like celebrities and movie reviewers and websites even just in like news stations talking about RRR, I was so excited. Cause I just, I love Indian cinema as you guys know, and I want everyone to watch Indian movies cause there are so many amazing ones. Um, and so hopefully I'm really wanting this one to also be a big success and can just like help spread these beautiful stories to people who may not know enough about them or may not know anything about them, let's be honest. <laughs> I probably know more than like the average non-Indian American, <laughs> like, you know, who don't have ancestors or are from India themselves and came here um, about like Indian mythology. And even so, in movies like RRR, which has some symbolism, I understand some. Like, I know, you know, like, Ram and the outfit and the names and stuff and what they represent. But I don't know all of it. Like, there's definitely references I miss and um, symbolism I miss because I just don't know enough. And um, so it'd be cool to see this where it kind of teaches a bit more about it. And hopefully, and <laughs> just uh, gives people a glimpse into this beautiful world of stories that so many people don't even think about. This movie looks great, it has a wonderful cast, the VFX work is amazing, and it has a really cool story that I'm genuinely looking forward to checking out. So yeah, but for now, that is all I gotta say about Brahmasta The Vision. Make sure to head over to my Instagram to enter the giveaway, link in the description. And I hope that you all enjoyed this video and have an absolutely amazing day. Stay safe, guys. Bye.